today we are here to talk about the IBIS of the Canon R7 as well as just show you some more test footage. I have primarily been using it with this 16 Prime, little Prime, and also some of the digital zoom test samples in here as well. I have the 7200 2.8 and you can go 10 times off the long end so you're at 300 and you can kind of go to 3000. So I'm going to show you some of that footage. It's just HD but I'll upscale to 4K and it is for you to decide whether, whether you like that footage or that footage is not for you. Here we are. Cottage, handheld, IBIS check, just walking around with Richard, who's probably going to go swimming in just a matter of moments here. There you go, IBIS on some sketchy rocks down to the water. I'm mostly curious about the edges. This. Also, I'm using the onboard mic. Curious how good it is. And uh, are the edges bending when I jump off this dock? On the other dock? Was that fine? Also, all the footage you're going to be seeing test footage 4K, 29, well, 30p, I guess, 29.97 uh, frames per second, and uh, that's it. Everything, I have not touched anything. I haven't had warp stabilization anything. I also haven't color graded anything, so as you're seeing it, it's straight out of the camera here and if you're interested I put up a video with some low light tests as well as some video tests that you can actually download so if you want to see some actual video footage on your screen if you got a 4k monitor you can head over to the link in the description and download that here comes Peter McKinnon So one of my main concerns with the Canon R6, which we use all of the time for pretty much everything, this is the, the Sony ZV-E10 with the multi-shoe mic, the new one, and uh, the 11 as well. But usually for video on the channel, you will be seeing the Canon R6. And typically we would shoot everything with a 35 prime because if you shot with the 16, you would get this terrible edge warble. And also if you shot with the 14 to 30 or the, the 15 to 35, on the wide end, you're trying to go handheld, you're trying to do a little follow shot or even just standing there, um, you, you would see a little bit of, I can't, I don't even think I can recreate it with this because the, the active stabilization of this camera is pretty good. So you do get a little bit of that edge warble and with the Canon R7, it doesn't really seem to be the case. I have been very, very happy with the IBIS. So let's get back to the test footage. As a reminder, July 14th is in fact my birthday. Before July 14th, you can get into the members website for the, the cheapest it's been in years. The members website has been the place that so many people that commented on the video a couple of days ago that the content in there really took them from a part-time photographer to a full-time photographer. So if it is your goal to be a full-time wedding photographer, which is maybe why you're on this channel, or maybe you're just here for the camera, uh, head on over there and get in before my birthday, July 14th. And there's a link down below that you can use and get in there. Back to the video. Canada Day celebrations here. Now I'm narrating very close to the microphone. So my theory with the IBIS warble disappearing is the fact that it's now just a crop sensor. So at 16, Canon R6, this is gonna be warbly on the edges, but when you punch in, and now this is kind of a 24, all of a sudden it gets rid of the edges, which is kind of the parts of the edge that would warble. So maybe that's the reason, I don't know. And the reason I love a good IBIS is because we handhold so much on the channel. I, I, I can't even remember the last time we tripoded a shot for a YouTube video, with the exception maybe if I was self-filming. Uh, even wedding films were always handheld, so good IBIS is very, very important to us. And it is absolutely one of the tools that helps me do my job a heck of a lot better. So it is important for me. So there you have it. Canon R7, IBIS test footage. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna stop here because it's not sunny. Don't forget, members website if you want to get in before my birthday, July 14th. It is $30 rather than $40 and you can get in right now. And the content there has helped so many people go from part-time to full-time. So if you're interested in making photography your career and getting to travel and get paid to travel and also just book more weddings if you're interested in wedding photography, because that is, I would say, the key to the time and financial freedom that I have experienced in my lifetime. So head on over there and grab that deal before it disappears. And also 100% money back guarantee. You join and it's just not for you. Send me an email, I'll send your money back. So there really is no risk. And if you're interested in some more Canon R7 content, you can just click the video that's right there. You can go watch it. See you again next time, tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern, every day.
every day forever. Not not forever, but at least for. I got videos for the next 15 days. So, see you every day until then.